go away for two whole months and they lock me out. One eternity later. Finally. Wakey, wakey. I'm sleeping. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bacon. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I was trying to sneak, sneak in decaf on me. What is this? Not this hour. Here we go at zero dark, 525. The little bros in town and uh, we're about to get a workout. So we're doing a little bit of pre-workout, uh, get a little water and uh, just getting the uh, joints ready to go. But uh, it's gonna be an awesome circuit. I don't know if you can catch up. I'm talking about catch up. Keep up. Come on, buddy, get your stuff together. Cheer like, yo, go Bryce. I can't do hard stuff, but you know what? I'm gonna watch you do it. He talks about hard stuff. What he's gonna do is actually easy. He's gonna go get nice, hot, sweaty. He's gonna be super hot, and then he's gonna go hop in the cool. Everybody can go hop in a cold plunge after you're hot and sweaty. Can you really do it when it's absolutely freaking cold and you're cold yourself? And plus, if you wanna actually get a swell, that cold water after you lift will kind of reduce that hypertrophy, so. Everyone can do it except this guy, so that's all I gotta say. I always usually get about 30, 35 minute circuit even when I'm not in boot camp as a full body, high intensity interval training does the trick, so I'm just getting uh, Geared up, ready to go. I usually do a little bit of warm up on the treadmill for a few minutes, just get those muscles and joints moving. You know the achy muscles over here, and uh, from there I'll get about 15 minutes of resistance circuit training. Barrett's gonna come here in a second, slacker, you know, and then uh, I'm gonna finish a little cardio run. So get a good, good half an hour circuit circuit today. <laughs> BH Strength, look at that. Okay. In uh, honor of my dude, my business partner, BK Strength, we built out a little home gym during COVID here called BH Strength. So it works out really well. If you could believe though, I fought my wife Tatiana tooth and nail because the expense, the investment, but is everything laid out just because fitness is ingrained in my day to day as it turns out. I was wrong. I'm so happy and so grateful that I built out a home gym. Actually, Tatiana built out the home gym during COVID and definitely have been able to maximize that in addition to my workouts at FitBody. So it's been a huge win. Fitness is everything. It's the foundation. Now, that said, what I've learned to be true, human nature, myself included, we all need coaching. We all need accountability. And for the vast majority of people, fitness isn't ingrained. It wasn't ingrained in me either. I actually started my fitness journey back in 2007. And it probably took me two years of working with my best friend, who's also my first personal trainer, to be able to build that muscle memory, that grit, if you will. And I have, in many ways, bad, but it's actually a good thing when it comes to life in terms of executing. I have a very addictive personality. So after about two years of committed with fitness, the addictive quality of all the benefits took hold. So I'm uh, very highly motivated. That all in mind, what I've found is most people need that motivation, need that accountability. So uh, this is the value of Fit Body Bootcamp, why we've created uh, the program. That said, do what you can with what you have. If you have the ability, uh, to get some home gym or piece of home equipment, I would highly encourage you to do it. Statistically, long term, the chance of you continuing to stay in a really dialed in fitness program just at home is probably pretty low unless you're very motivated or you have a personal trainer coming to you. That said, I always recommend if you can counterbalance it and uh, get yourself a little bit of fitness equipment at home, highly recommend it. We're both bougie about some things and then completely not bougie about other things. So from my home gym perspective, I guess I'm bougie. Barrett has a home gym like that's a cave. On the other side of the coin, when we go out to eat, he has to have his Perrier water, his bubbly sparking water. He can't go still water, so it's interesting. We're both bougie, we're both basic, just on different things. Ah, oh, so bougie. I have straight garage, not this beautiful floor. And we got some rubber mats in there, rusted weights. I actually got barbells, lots of them. Kettlebells, a couple weights that actually go over like 20 or whatever he has here. He's actually got some weight over here. I like to give him a hard time. I just remind him, he might be the younger brother, definitely the bigger brother. Space is relatively tight in the grand scheme of things. First of all, problem, I got a three car garage, so I have a one stall, so efficiency is the name of the game. Same at boot camp as well. We actually only have 2,500, 3,000 square feet facilities. We can train hundreds of clients per location because we're very efficient and thoughtful in terms of our program. So the squat rack, which is all encompassing, you can do so many things with it. Clean squats, got a pull up bar, very efficient and compact. Got a little bit of training floor, dumbbells, kettlebells, our TRX functional equipment, some slam balls. So in the grand scheme of things, it's actually a very small space, but it's very thought, well thought through. I can't take any credit. My better half, Tatiana, she's the engineer on this, if you will. Have a little bit of space in the corner and then I love running. I love cardiovascular. In fact, most guys, what I realized in the fitness business, don't like cardio that much. I'm a little bit of opposite. I like to run at least a couple miles a day. What it does is it creates bilateral stimulation. It creates mental clarity and removes a brain fog. It clears the mind, gets me ready for the day. About halfway through my uh, resistance 
Chetty, you can see I'm a little out of breath already. That's a good thing, it means it's work. When recent time I work out six days a week here and one day at boot camp. But the only reason that is, is I lived in South Orange County, which is about 45 minutes south of HQ, in October 21 to be closer to headquarters, which means boot camp's half an hour on the other side. So it's a bit of a jump, but every Tuesday morning at 5.15, I hit Mission Viejo Fit Body, my location, get in my circuit, and it's a long morning for me because I got a half an hour there, half an hour back, then get to HQ, but that way I can get connected. So that's typically my routine as of late. It's not how you start. Anyone can start strong. It's how you finish. These champions finish strong. Pull-ups in, Bryce. Get some pull-ups in. Let's go, Bryce. Pull-ups, baby. <laughs> He's in his own world. He's all right. Legs, core, shoulders. Functional fitness. Be efficient with your workouts. Don't you spend two hours crushing a workout. 30, 35 minutes intentional focus. This is good on my trophy wall. I might have borrowed them from my wife, but hey, all good. I'm a Spartan by nature. I went to Michigan State University, but fortunately that's all I can claim in terms of races. I better have Tatiana, she's an absolute beast. Spartan champion, so give credit where credit's due. Net credit's to her. Where's it at? Where'd it go? The New York City. It used to be hanging. One of my favorites. I just coached on this yesterday, November 1st, 2015. Four hours, 40, 46 minutes. Ended up earlier in 2015, kind of as a joke, as a bet. I put an application for the New York City Marathon. Because if you're in New York City, you either have to qualify or you have to get picked by a raffle. Well, I put in my application in early 2015. I didn't hear a response, so I thought I didn't get picked. No joke, about a month before, end of September, I get a call or email saying, you've actually been selected. 30 days I had to train for the marathon. Now, the good news is, when you're fit, you're, you're fit. You don't have to get ready if you're already ready. That said, I was not conditioned enough to run 26 miles within that short period of time. But what I did is reached out to my business partner, Bedros. He had a running coach, put me in touch with his running coach on a very condensed plan over three and a half weeks. She got me fit enough for endurance to run 15 miles, which is just enough conditioning so that when, when I got to November 1st in New York City with the amazing energy, the liveliness of the streets that pushed me through. And my goal was to get under 430, I hit 446, which is a win. I've done a one other marathon circuit format. Um, but aside from that, I have two marathons. If and when I do another marathon, my goal is sub 430, then eventually sub four. Boom. I've only won run, one race. It was a marathon in 20, or 2009. And actually I took my medal and I mailed it to him and said, hey, this is about as close as you're gonna get to one of your own. I'll take mine back when you get yours. And guess what? After that marathon, which is why I love that photo, he finally gave me my freaking medal back. The only race I've run, the only one. True story. <laughs> And here we go, so got a good uh, about 20 minute resistance training circuit. Lean out the body, full body, legs, core, shoulders, back. That's a good one, and usually finish up with at least 15, if not 20, sometimes 25 if I'm feeling spicy. A little bit of jog, clears the mind, gets me in a state to dominate that day. So important, your health is the foundation. Just got to finish with an awesome circuit, about 40 minutes today, pushed myself, the little bros in town. Actually, for our EOS quarterly, Creeth, for our EOS quarterly three, for our EOS quarterly Q3 leadership meeting where we go offsite, actually at my house, every day we're working in the business. This gives my leadership team and I an opportunity to take a step back and work on the business. It's about big vision planning, big strategic moves. So it's gonna be an action packed day. It's really cool. Gonna fuel up with some hydration. It's summer right now, so my lungs are dying. It's nice and hot out, as you can see, I'm sweating. I'm gonna finish with a 10 minute sauna and then a three minute cold plunge uh, to finish out the training for the morning. Then eat a little breakfast, get a little protein shake, and then get ready for our Q3 quarterly US training, which I'm super excited to pour into our team. this so it's interesting I just told you in the last clip my wife Tatiana fought me tooth and nail wanting a home gym being being a business guy watching expenses I did the math and it just didn't financially make sense this is why I was a little resistant in our communication but as it turns out she really pushed hard so glad she did it's created so much more efficiency a better platform of fitness in my life so that way mentally physically I can be in a better position to be efficient with my schedule and run the company at a higher degree now additionally she's a homebody and consequently I've become a homebody as well so instead of date night we're out spending a lot of money on dinners etc we decided to invest in a home gym a sauna and then a cryo plunge uh, so a lot of our time outside of work and building businesses actually just at home uh, connecting masterminding a little, a little a little bit and focusing on our health and wellness in a very relaxing way so that's the reason I got the sauna. I'm getting there for 10 minutes and then finish out with a cold plunge
not every time do I do a sauna prior, actually. Uh, most times I do one or two times a week, but uh, for the sake of, uh, I guess, this particular week, extra clear-headed for a quarterly, did a little sauna, but then every single day I get in the cold plunge for three minutes with 15, extra, 15 seconds of extra credit, so let's go. Uh, good little marketing by cold plunge, but uh, I usually put this right here and then I do a few minutes of mindset coaching which you record and then my team uploads on social media. Video on a video today, which is cool. All right, so nice and cool. My body's hot, but 40 degrees Fahrenheit, about two to three degrees centigrade. That's never warm. Ooh. So here we go, full submersion. And um, typically speaking, I get a circuit in, it warms up the body. Uh, which is good, but today I did the sauna um, after my workout before this, which is interesting. It's a little bit optical illusion because for the first minute it's easier because my body's super warm. It's already warm because of the circuit, but then artificially because I've just put myself in a quote unquote oven for an extra 10 minutes. So that superficial warm keeps me a little bit warmer for the first minute, but it's a little bit of illusion uh, because usually minute two, all of a sudden my body's temperature starts to change drastically. And then within minute three, it's actually harder. The last minute is harder if I do the sauna because at that point my temperature spikes uh, on the low end and the last 60 seconds is frigid. But regardless, whether I do the sauna or not, one thing is for certain, this thing is not warm, but it teaches you about mental fortitude, about building adversity, about pushing yourself through resistance. And uh, there's so many physiological, physical benefits uh, for your body, reduces inflammation, increases blood circulation, increases oxygen circulation to your brain. So, so many health benefits. Uh, but what I love it more, for first and foremost, is the mental clarity and the confidence. Because when you do hard things, when you do things that other people are unwilling to do, when you keep the promises to yourself, that builds self-trust. And all self-confidence is, is self-trust. When you make a promise, do you keep it? And every single day, literally without fail, after my circuit, there's that little inner voice saying, Bryce, take today off. It's super cold in here. I know the minute or two prior, I can just sense the pain I might experience, the discomfort. So every single morning, I have to overcome that little inner critic and have that self-talk, that little inner voice that uh, is saying, Bryce, take it easy. I have to overcome that. And when I do, it's not easy. Uh, I build self-trust, build more confidence, and of course, the physiological benefits take hold. So that's the big reason for my cold plunges, first and foremost. I'm gonna do a little dunk here. Some of those cold plungers don't do the full submission, but I tell you, when you do, I do three submersions on a uh, daily basis. Number one, when I first get in, and uh, I didn't hit the timer, as you can see right here. So, <laughs> that was just mental uh, fortitude. I've been probably in a solid 90 seconds, if not two, but forgot to hit the uh, timer on my camera. Anyways, I digress. I do three submersions. One, when I first get in, and that just lights up the body. It brings so much awareness and uh, so much pain, if I'm being honest. Uh, but it really lights you up. And then um, usually I work through the first two minutes. I do a submersion on minute two, and then uh, I finish it off with a last submersion. I get to three minutes, but uh, from a focus perspective, my mental, my mentality timer is three minutes, but I always do 15 seconds of extra credit because there's one thing for certain. There is never an extra crowd, or there's never a crowd, I should say, on the extra mile. So this is all part of the equation to get me physically and mentally prepared to dominate the day ahead and run an international franchise, which is not light, but this is the work that I need to do. That all said, uh, that's a little bit of my routine. Um, aside from that, I wanna tell you a little bit about the day ahead, which I'm super pumped. So taking a step back in 2019, actually in 2014, I read a book called Traction by Gino Wickman. And Gino is the founder of an operating system called Entrepreneurial Operating System. I look at it more of as a leadership operating system framework. And I read that book, I got ground, I was inspired, but I didn't actually know how to apply it to the business. That was until 2019. And a friend of mine who was working at Truly Nutrition, our sister company at Fitbody at the time, talked a little bit about EOS and traction. And we talked about the book or the concept of EOS coaching and implementing the system. And there was an idea, I think there's actually coaches for EOS. So we ended up looking into the system and ended up bringing in a coach, a dear friend to this day, we've been working through since 2019 named Brian Underhill. Game changer and what he has done since 2019 on a 
quarterly basis comes in and implements EOS. And EOS is a system we work not only inside our business, but every 90 days, starting with the annual two-day meeting, and then every quarter we meet uh, one time a quarter, so five times, excuse me, four times throughout the course of the year. Three of the meetings are one-day meetings, and the annual meeting is a two-day meeting, and that's a focus day. And we're talking about big vision planning, strategic planning. Typically do it off-site. Um, we've done it at my house, so in the team, the leadership team's uh, flying in. Half of us here are based in Southern California. My brother Barrett's out in Michigan. Uh, Joel Kokus, Director of Business Development, is out in uh, Canada. We all come in uh, for a quarterly offsite, and uh, today we're gonna be planning for the rest of the year, not only for the next 90 days, but uh, one of the things that we're uh, staring at the barrel of is 2024 is gonna be our biggest world conference, which is our annual world conference. We're bringing all our fitness coaches and owners into an event. This year it's in Las Vegas, Nevada, so we're super pumped. We over, have over 500, well north of 500 attendees. Uh, so we built that out over the last 12 months, but if you can believe right now the taping time of this taping is July, one of the things that we're gonna be doing is strategizing for 2025, getting all of our training lined up, our world conference dialed in, and as we continue to take a step ladder approach on taking one bite at a time, building a better uh, franchise system, what we've realized is long-term strategic planning is mission critical, and our EOS quarterly meeting, which we're gonna do today, is a huge part of that. Excited for you to be along the ride, and that's really taking a step back, giving you some big vision of really the method behind the madness and why we're doing what we're doing today. Nice. This guy lives in the cold, but he actually can't take the cold. And he's gonna talk about hypertrophy and how that's not the best use of exercise. At the end of the day, little brother, where are you at, buddy? Where are you? After I finish this, I usually get one or two laps in, so that's it. my friends that is a wrap that's the strength the conditioning the mental clarity now we're about to dominate the day ahead so hopefully you enjoyed that let's go meeting time I got my little robe in here and uh, this morning since Pablo's in town my uh, dear friend and biographer Tatiana got up and uh, she made me a little protein shake usually I have to do that on my own I'm gonna get a little truly nutrition uh, strengthen those muscles because what happens is when you work out you break down the muscle fiber so you need some fuel to rebuild so that's what we're gonna do right here <laughs> yeah boy Pablo, quit filming me. You know I don't like being on camera. Go away. How are you? Good. I, mean, I figured as I go along. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I, just, I, 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 I just wing it. I'm totally just wing it. Yeah. I'm just a dumb guy with a marking pen and that's it. And the smartest guys always say that, you know. Truth be told, this guy has been a game changer in our brand and our franchise and our HQ by installing or help with installing. EOS, the Entrepreneur Operating System. So super excited to be here off-site and be talking about big picture strategy. Talk a little bit about my shoot earlier today, our training events, world conferences coming up, uh, not only for 2024, which is going to be our biggest event in franchise history, but because of this particular operating system, we're able to look out way far in the future, which creates better planning, better infrastructure at our brand. We're actually going to be talking about 2025 vision today, and we're six months out from even 2025, 2025 starting. So that's the value of this particular meeting today. Let's go. We're gonna walk out of here with the leadership team 100% on the same page with where we're going. The vision, right? Same page, that's very vital. Nothing is sacred, Re readdress the vision of the organization. I'm gonna say that it's creating more space to be the visionary. I would say, interestingly enough, I'm definitely on track. <laughs> Although, ironically, my schedule is even more intense now because I've had to do so much lifting in terms of getting my business prepared to sell. So mm -hmm. after September 1, it'll fulfill that which would be great, um, but uh, ultimately I'm on track from my perspective, specifically that focus, although it's not gonna be realized until Q4. Continued infrastructure, so I've got a few different things. World Conference, uh, from a, uh, a website perspective, our SEO is working. Um, media now is really cleaned up and feel really strong there. We have a strong media team there. Launch is working. Uh, Barrett's training development is gaining more traction. And I would say, interestingly enough, even though accountability starts a big focus of ours, our H2 retention is very strong. Mm -hmm. We're in a situation right now where we're having to actually force pressure on things, but it's not like force pressure is coming to us, mm -hmm. uh, which shows you know a, a great deal of value in terms of the leadership and how we're preparing the company from my perspective. So all, those are all things that are working. 
what's not working more on the marketing side of it, sales and marketing, specifically the marketing message branding, et cetera, which Match, Match touched on. Uh, so that is a focus, which then triples to sales as well uh, from a global perspective. And then I put uh, from a franchise partner perspective, when we faced it, we've had this conversation, but just franchise partner divided in terms of the marketing content we pushed out, like CJ's feedback is just one example of many. Um, so that would be for me, uh, one thing that not. And then lastly, I mean, as I always say this, the process of the US is absolutely beautiful. So my full, full expectation is to follow the process and the process takes care of the rest. And then specifically, uh, just to re reaffirm whatever we're talking about, come to as a big ticket for today. We're the parents parenting this organization to greatness. And so anything's fair game. We need to lean into the danger. We need to talk about the tough stuff. We need to celebrate the wins. We need to do everything in this table, open and honest. Cool. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, friends. So to close out this vlog, as I just had an awesome day, first wanted to give you some insight on what my day looks like from a fitness and foundation perspective. Fitness is the foundation. So you got an awesome workout. You saw me in the cold plunge. You saw me in low cryo. This is what I do on a daily basis to prime the pump, to get my body, mind, and soul ready to lead the organization and had an action-packed quarterly business planning. We talked about big vision for not only 2024, but 2025 and onward. And that's the value of not only working in your business, but on your business as well. And whether you're a CEO of an international fitness franchise like me, or just a person in the working world, take a step back every quarter, analyze what's working, what's not, plan the life that you want. That's my big call to action for you today. So hopefully you got a lot of value from the vlog, and I cannot wait to see you in the next vlog.